Hello, YouTube. This is the last game of the stream. Twitch just got let known just now. How are you all? How are you doing? Little girl, how are you doing? This is it. I've had a bad day of Hearthstone. Like, not even kidding. It has been terrible. I'm not even... I don't even want to look at the... I'm not. I'm, I'm hoping to forget about today. November 27th, not my day of Hearthstone. But maybe we can recover right here. But give a good win for YouTube. Show a little bit reborn... Um, yeah, I got to pitch that. I can't hold that for seven turns and do nothing. Okay, see, we can do things. I got to put on some free stream music. A lot of my videos uh have been getting uh taken down just for like literally 10 seconds of music, dude. Like it has been crazy that I've been copywritten for like 10 seconds of music. I try to turn it off fast enough, copyright. And so instead of editing it, I, I just figure we'll just keep going to the free stream music. Um, yeah, they, they don't, it doesn't copyright me. Right. So there we go. We got some nice little piano. Uh, you know, what's crazy is lately like three of my best videos got a uh, copyright and it was like, like blocked and I was like damn man some of my best videos it's not like a I don't know I don't know maybe I'm just talking too much here because we have nothing to do while we're waiting on this rogue to figure out his hand but uh alright his hand's not incredibly bad it's 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 play the quest I thought about not playing the quest there on first turn but what a Christology let's not panic the rogue It is shot by. It is not Christology. Shotbot is in play. He's very sticky. He's a problem if you don't deal with him. He can be a very big problem, actually. For a while, he was the activator for this deck when I was. It was too weak, but I, I made it too, too, a little stronger nowadays. There is the egg. So, we don't push our luck here. Maybe we do. We could... No. Put those into place. So now we got a little bit of board protection. Fifth turn. Your presence offends me. Limb by limb. Do not Alright. So I have a feeling we're gonna get vanished here in a second. Alright. I think we're gonna get vanished right now. Well, that'll do it, everybody. YouTube, we'll play one more. Our opponent got really unlucky. I don't deserve this. This that did deserve a win by itself. This video, that was that was too lucky. He got really unlucky. I don't want to showcase that. One more, one more, last one, last one, last one, last one. I know that I said that was the last game of stream, but we did it so fast that we can go part two. That's not showcasing anything, right? Showcasing how our opponent got unlucky. No, it's all right. We'll try again. All right, so this should be a really, really hard game for us because the pirate where it really swings. Do we keep the consecration? I think we do, right? I think we ditched the liberty of justice though. We have one reborn. 
Not very good. Ter I think Tehran is... Terran is just... It's so interesting, right? Because you got to really think about how you can use it. I mean, he's kind of feast or famine. I mean, he could really make the game, like, really interesting for you. But it could also do nothing for you, too. Sometimes I have to... Like, lately I've been thinking about just dropping him on thir turn 3 for 3-4. Three, that 3-4 three, has been, like, really important lately. Here comes Patches. Oh, my. Oh, God. Here they all come. If he has... The three costs that uh, brings everything out, we lose, right? There we go. All we got is Murby. We, we really can't do much here. If he has the three costs, which he doesn't, so he's just gonna blow me the F up. He gets Anchor. Oh man, I think we're in trouble here. Why don't you trade the one two? All right. We're still in trouble. We've still, has got quite a few cards. Yikes. I don't have a lot I can do about that because that's it's overkill, right? Overkill is a big deal. Well, he doesn't have a weapon, so it's not actually that bad. It's still bad, though. He's still going to draw a lot of cards. If he gets greedy, he trades his own board off. But if he does it right, oh, yeah, he's got this. He's going to put the other one down and grab the captain out of his hand. Good plays. Yeah, swing to 5-3, Adam, and then... Well, we'll see. We'll see how he wants to do it. Yeah, that's the way to do it. That's the right... These are the... This guy does what he's doing. All right. Obviously, I want a one-drop, right? Because we are always casting Consecration, I believe. Right? Because there's no... Yeah, there's no other play. We're still in bad shape because here comes the cat red. Yeah, here comes the juggernaut. We're still in a lot of trouble. We're at 10. We can put this down, but we are not close enough to our reborn mission. We need to really start drawing some reborns. That's not it, sadly. Oh my god. He draws too. That's amazing. He's going to draw from that weapon. Quite lucky. Bang. Bang. We're going to get hit for seven. Oh, look. He has charge. And we lose. There it is, everybody. We could do one more. Best two out of three. Best two out of three, I suppose. These games are going so quick. We could bet do last one, last one, last one, last two. Two out of three for the Reborn. Two out of three. You know, that's just unfortunate. We didn't draw any Reborns or the Crystallizers to go get more Reborns. It's just unlucky. Just unlucky game there. Like, I know the Consecrates were killing his board, but if I'm, my deck's not doing what it needs to be doing, then it, it doesn't matter, right? Because I'm going to get to... We got to the exact point where I didn't get any Reborns. Like, it can't go like that. Especially not against the Pirate Warrior, right? Like we need a re we need a board. Uh, did not need Valinir. See, the other the problem with going first and you get a bad hand is that this six drop is useless. I'm doing this first turn, so essentially I have one card in hand. That's why I'm kind of flummoxed over that the hand I was just giving. Our opponent's gonna have four cards in the coin, right? He's gonna drop the quest. Pirate, patches, 2-2 two, two from hand, right? That's on second turn. Second turn, I'll have a 1-1. One, 1-1 one. One, one reborn. That's all I'll have. It's not good. This is, this, is, this is a fucking disaster. All right. We're not totally out of it, right? So we do that. We crystallize her first, then Mermy. If we don't get another one drop. And then we start just dropping the reborns. 
Maybe on turn six to Valonir, we can just trade something off. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Play your quest, warrior. Let's go. Fire Plume's Heart. You're going to play my own deck against me, huh? Okay. All right. So it's Crystallogy first. Let's see what we get. Micro Mummy's not the dream. Those are not the dream. Yeah, I feel bad for Mr. Reaper. You will find no better fucking taunt warrior than me. <laughs> but I didn't get anything good here. My hand sucks. Technically speaking, I think uh, this is a trade. This is a straight up trade. Or maybe not. You know what? Let's give the reborn minion some, some love there. Trades that off. Okay. I would coin out the Sword Eater if you have it. That's what I would do. Stonehill Defender. Good card. Um, I hate to say it, but the, the Consecration almost looks pretty good here. We clear the board efficiently, right? And we get to... If we do that... Where are we at? We're at two. If we clear the board, we're doing nothing. No, I, we gotta do something, right? Clear that. Leave the one one up. Start buffing everything. Okay, good. The four two shot bot is where is that? I think we hard uh, play the Ancestral Guardian finishing off the quest. We won't be able to copy on the same turn unless we draw a, a cheaper one. If we draw a Temple Guardian, I think just any of those cheap Reborns, we can get this going pretty well. Because we have sticky minions. This is a real problem for the warrior because when he starts shooting the uh, fireball, I'll have such a sticky board that he may not be able to clear in time. We'll see though. I don't know what type of uh, taunt warrior he's running right now. Okay, he's got the buff, so he's gonna put a four drop down or two 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 ups. Let's see what he does. The arcane. Okay, that's interesting. It's just interesting, right? We are going to do this. Full clear. We still maintain a board. I didn't want to magnetize on to the four seven. Not that I particularly care. Because we're gonna set your guardian copy. Oof, that's good. And he puts the two drop down as mega buffed. Very good. Very good card. Very good card. I like it. I like it. Okay, I'll put the golden one down. Completing the quest. That always goes there. Start buffing each other. There we go. All right, YouTube. Bottom of 13 minutes video. Wow, we're really going here. But we're we're demonstrating Reborn Warrior. You know, it's this is I'm having a good time here. You all get the pleasure of me, you know, playing this. Not many people play this deck. It's not very good. <laughs> Currently, I think I'm going to Valonir, start swinging and try to get the buff on my minions now. Because I can go through this board. And we're copying since we have Reborn. So whatever Reborn he leaves up, we just keep copying. Just, we just need sticky minions. That's all we need. If we could copy the... Oh, wow. So the 4-1 still standing. Uh, Warpath would be pretty good. I'm not sure about that card. I would never run that card in my taunt warrior deck. But, you know, let's see what he does. I'm interested to see this guy's take on his taunt warrior. Okay. Another two drop coming down. Okay. 
So far, we're told that's a total board clear. Wow. Um, yikes. That is a total board clear. Who gets taunt divine shield? That one gets taunt divine shield. Trade that. Then they all buff each other. So now we can Valonir copy. He's got to complete his quest and start shooting me. He can't. He can't keep messing around here. He's got to get those taunts onto the board now and complete his quest, or he's gonna lose this game. Like he's running out of time. That deck can't come back if the uh, the board is too strong and too big for him to take. He needs to clear the board and start hitting me with that eight damage. Okay. Very interesting. Oh my god. I doubt it, dude. I'm really interested to see how what this payoff of this taunt warrior is. Really interested to see it. Brawl, alright. You know there's a weakness to you brawling. Really crappy. So then it's Valinir. Swing. Copy. Beat him down. Beat him down. Beat him down. Beat him down. Valinir. We'll copy. We can copy the Valinir buff. And that should be the game. By the way, Valinir does is gives a minion in your hand plus four, plus two when it dies, re equip this. What you do is you, the minion that we buff, we copy it. Thus having two Valineers. Okay. Watch. Watch what we're about to do. He's actually going to give us an opportunity to do it. Do we have lethal in any sort of way? Actually, we might. No, we don't have lethal. He's at 21 and we can only do 13... 14. So, what you do is you put this out here, right? And then you copy the one that has the Val on your butt. Watch what happens, everybody. So, what happens is if he kills the Val on your, we get double buffs and it starts, it chain buffs. You just watch, just watch. Ankar. I mean, he took an attempt at the Taunt Warrior with que with Pirates. Yep, that completes the quest. He throws that into the 7-4. Well played, my friend. He tried. I, I enjoyed your attempt. It it's I think he drew pretty poorly. The Pirate Warrior, I'm not... Trying to mix Pirates with the quest is interesting. YouTube, thank you for watching, everybody. Thank you for stopping by. That's the do for me today.